Hi friends, in this video, let's discuss about date diff function in the Power BI. I can also call it as date diff function in the DAX. Ideally, so I will be calculating the date differences in the Power BI with the help of the DAX queries only. So that is the reason why. So I'm going to tell date diff function in the Power BI or date diff function in the DAX. Ideally, yes, it will help us to identify the date differences between two dates in terms of months, in terms of year, in terms of days, in terms of hours, in terms of minutes. Today, I want to calculate the experience of a particular employee. I have an employee table. So which are of having couple of columns and I have a joining date along with that. So I want to calculate the experience of that particular employee as of today's date. So I'll, I'll show you how to calculate the experience of a particular employee by using date diff function. So let me go to the power BI. So let me connect to the SQL server. So click on get data, click on SQL server. So here, my database name is my server name is dot slash sql 2012 my database name is sample click on ok if you know the database name you can uh, type here otherwise uh, in the next window it will show you the list of available databases yes yeah. so this is my uh, sample database under that i have couple of tables so let's select whatever the table you want so i selected employee table so which are of having id employee employee name salary joining date and department let's click on load i have a joining date here let's click on load it may take a while based on the data so let's wait till the data load happens yes done so now let me minimize the visualization i might not require for today's example so let's uh, go to the uh, data view select the employee and click on data view uh, here this is the data i have id employee employee name salary joining date and department number so here i want to calculate the experience of each and every employee as of today's date by using date diff function so how to calculate that so let's add a new column here so here as all you know that so experience is going to vary based on day to days so that's the reason why so I'm going to calculate at runtime. So whenever I open a report, whenever I open a data tomorrow, the experience may vary. So today the experience is in terms of days, 100 days, tomorrow it is 101 days. So like that. So now I'll add a change the column name as experience. Experience and here I need to write a date diff function. So as I told you, date diff function is one of the important function in our uh, Power BI or in the uh, database uh, management systems, which will help us to calculate the uh, difference between two dates in terms of months, years, or quarters, or in terms of hours, minutes. So let me write date diff is a keyword actually even in the Power BI. You can see my Power BI is intelligent one. It shows intelligence. Date diff of date one comma date two comma interval. So here I need to specify my date one is joining date. So my joining date, date two is a today's date. So how to get the today date in Power BI? You need to use today function. Today, comma, in terms of what? You want in terms of year, months, or quarter, or what in terms of what you need. So I want to calculate the experience in terms of year. Let's select that year close that and click on enter so once you are okay with the syntax and all let's click on enter it automatically populates the each and every column value based on the calculation so let's enter i just press enter if you see this it has been calculated so the experience between uh, this join date and today's date is eight years for the first employee team so next employee is seven years next employee is three years next employee is four years and six years and first year so if you want in terms of months how to calculate that here in terms of year you can keep it as month let's select month and enter it even though the earlier value is calculated in terms of year nothing to worry let's click on enter so it automatically calculates 
experience in terms of months so you simply you can keep it as um, within the bracket you can keep it as months so that it's very easy for us to understand okay so once you're okay so let's uh, kind of uh, come back to the visualization window so there you can see the experience in terms of months you can see some different symbol between the department number and salary there is a different symbol it means that it has been implemented in the power bi window it does not uh, it, it's not coming from the database directly so finally so this is how we'll use a dead diff function that's it so thank you for watching if you really like our videos please uh, like and subscribe thank you for watching